Hello friends, I hope all of you are doing great and you're having fun learning Python programming. You might have realized at this point that Python programming is extremely easy to learn. So anyone can code, it's not a rocket science at all. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can process command line arguments using arg parse module. Now, processing command line arguments in any programming language is considered a very, very basic thing. So you need to have a knowledge on how to process command lines. Okay, so let's start a tutorial. I'm going to import uh, the arg parse module and here I'm going to say parser is equal to arg parse dot argument parser and args equal to parser dot parse args. Now, if you run this program, so I just, I'm going to just save this and I'm in the same directory where this Python file resides. And if I run this program, Python, and by the way, this is how you run your Python program. You will say Python space, the name of your .py file, which is your Python file. When you run this, nothing happens because the program has nothing. It is just initializing the parser and it is trying to parse the arguments. Now, by default, you get minus h argument. Minus h means help. So when you do this, this thing is coming from arg parse module from here. So by default, you get this h command and it is saying that you're having optional argument for help. Now let's pass some real arguments. There are two kinds of arguments that argparse supports, positional argument and optional arguments. We're going to first look at positional arguments. So what you do here is you have initialized the object of this parser class, argument parser class, and using this parser class, you're going to add an argument. Now what argument is this API is going to do is it's going to add that argument to your program when you run it using a command line. Okay. So this is how you do it. So you will say add argument. First parameter is the name of the argument and the second parameter is the help. So this is like first number and the program that we are writing is basically you want to have a program that takes two numbers as an input and an operation. So the operation could be either addition, subtraction or multiplication. Uh, you need to give two numbers and the type of operation that you want to perform and the program should return the result based on your inputs. Okay, so that's what we are doing. So we are having first number, we are having second number. So first number, second number, number two. And then we will have parser dot add argument for operation. So this is the type of operation that you want to supply. Okay. Now, once this is how you add arguments to your parser and once you pass the arguments, you get this object back, which has the value of arguments, which user has passed uh, using command line. So now you can actually access args.number1. So I'm going to just print args.number1, then I will print args.number2, and then I will print args.operation. Okay, let's see what happens when we run this program. So here, let me, so let me open this on the side. Okay, mm, all right. So here, when I run this program, you see in the help, now it is showing me this nice help on how a user can run this program. Okay, so number one, number two on operation. So it is just showing me the format in which I should run this argpass tutorial.py file. Okay, so now I know that I have to pass number one, number two and operation. So what I'll do is now I will actually execute this program. So my number one is let's say four, my number two is let's say five and my operation is let's say add. When I do that, you see that this four went into Arcs dot number one, five entered into number two, and operation is in here. That's what it printed. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to actually perform the operation. So I will say if args dot operation is equal to add, 
then now before we do that remember that whenever you pass an input using command line it always comes back to program as a string so you need to convert it into integer so integer is basically number so arch dot number one is a string so whatever four you are passing here will be a string and i'm converting it to a number okay and same thing for our second number and here i am going to initialize a result object to none and now if the operation is ahead obviously you will use plus operator to perform your operation and if operation is equal to subtract then you will do n1 minus n2 and if operation is multiply then you will do n1 into n2 and in the end you're printing a result okay so i think it's pretty straightforward here you are uh, checking what type of operation user has requested and based on that you are performing the operation and printing the result so now let's run the program nice so you see like four and five are input add is your operation and nine is your result you can make it more clear by just saying a result is a result so it will be a little bit more clear okay you can also say subtract subtract and the result is minus one you can also try multiply so the benefit of using command line argument is that using these arguments program can process any kind of input now let's see what if you don't supply all the arguments let's say i'm supplying number one and number two but i'm not supplying uh, operation when you do that it will show you this error so you must supply all the three arguments so whenever you're using positional arguments they are mandatory you cannot skip it so what if i want to skip some arguments and I want to get some more clarity even on the arguments like how to pass the arguments uh, in order to do that you have to use optional argument now the way you pass optional argument is this you will here instead of just typing in a number you will say minus minus number okay minus minus operate number two that's it once you do this it will make all of these three uh, the optional arguments so let's see what happens now so here before I do anything let me add one more statement uh, if let's say user doesn't supply add subtract or multiply and he let's say he supplies something else you want to print unsupported unsupported operation right cool now we just converted these to optional argument by putting two hyphens here and let's see what happens now if you don't supply third argument so i have first second and third when you do that first of all it is look at the usage in the usage it is saying that this is how you should pass your arguments okay so the correct way now of for passing the arguments will be this minus minus number one minus minus number two minus minus operation equal uh, operation add using optional arguments uh, one benefit you get is you get a clarity on which argument you're passing right so here it's short of like key value pair so this is your key this is your value this is your key this is your, your value and these are now not fixed arguments you can change their order for example I can pass number two towards the end and it will still work so if I say number two is five it still works so it doesn't it doesn't have any fixed position now that's one benefit second benefit is of course you have a key so if someone is running your program you know what you're passing for example here in the positional argument I just pass four and five but I don't really know what is four and what is five versus here I know four will be treated as number one five will be treated as number two and add is actually an operation okay all right now let's look at the help how the help looks so when you say minus h it shows this help and these are all 
optional arguments previously when we printed help they were positional arguments so with optional argument now first let me clear this with optional argument you can actually skip your arguments so if you skip let's say operation I'm supplying only number one and number two I, I don't I'm not supplying operation it will still work so arg parse module will not stop you but it will eventually come here it will ch check for the operation and operation is none actually you see none here so that's why it is going into this trace what if if you like the format this format of passing arguments and you still want to restrict user to certain kind of operation in our program we only support add subtract and multiplication three operations so i want to now restrict user from uh, not entering any values other than add subtract and multiply right now he can enter any values that he likes for example he can say minus minus operation is equal to division now we don't support division so i made a mistake so okay so here it says unsupported operation which is fine but we are handling that in our code what if you want to restrict user from here itself you don't want to go through the code because now here i have to handle that condition right so if i let's say don't handle this condition for example then it's gonna print result none and i will have no idea why result is none i asked the program to do division right so our parse module have a facility to restrict the choices of command line input and the way you do it is by typing comma and here you will specify your choices so i'm going to specify my choices and my choices is gonna be add subtract and multiply okay so now for my third argument which is operation user can only enter these three if he doesn't enter these three it will just fail right here okay it won't go beyond this point so let's see uh, okay now again i'm supplying division and when i hit enter see here right at the time of parsing it failed it says invalid choice division choose from add subtract or multiply so this is what you should use whenever you want to you uh, restrict user from uh, and not entering any specific argument okay now until now we are running the program from this windows command prompt uh, what if you want to run program from here uh, from pycharm in pycharm when you execute a program you can actually uh, modify uh, specify the arguments so for that uh, click on run go to edit configuration here it is saying i'm executing this py file and here i can specify my arguments so here i can say number one is 10 number two is let's say five and operation is add okay when i do that and when i run the program it works see it took 10 and 5 as an input add with the operation and the result is 15 so this is how you pass the argument just in case if you want to let's say debug the program so for example i'll just quickly show you uh, how to debug this so here yeah just uh, put in a breakpoint as usual click on this bug icon and it will start debugging and once you have that you see like args namespace is this and when you go to next next statement and if you look at your args parameter here you see number one is 10 5 and operation and you see like number 10 is actually integer type and that's the reason why we were uh, doing this integer conversion right here so next next and n1 and n2 is 10 10 and 5 and you see so 10 and 5 n1 and n2 and since operation is added it went to here and it printed the result okay so in the console here you have the result so this is how you debug your command line argument program using pyjam okay friends that was all about argument parsing uh, i hope this was useful remember arg pass is a most common way of pass parsing arguments there are other ways but i recommend using this way okay thanks for watching